Oh, good morning. So in this video, we'll continue with uh, what I have done last week. So in this particular video, I will demonstrate how to send an email using the SyncGrid library. So if you've not heard about SyncGrid, it's a way to send an email, especially if you are in Azure, because there's no the one way to send email is using SyncGrid. So you can check the website of SyncGrid. So why is also nice to use this? Okay. So all you have to do here is, is to have the API key. So in your organization, maybe someone is responsible for that. So you just ask the API key and then you can use it now in your program. So here in my in my program in my report module i am now going to send the report at the build the report that will be able to build and will send it to email so previously i already have a library for the same grid so this one so i had been using this library in other another program or another module that i have created that have a sending utility or needs to send an email. So this is created in .NET framework. It's not .NET Core, but you can use it in your program that is in .NET Core. So first thing that you have to do when you, when you create a project, you have to install the SyncGrid package. So same thing, you are going to go to the tools, you get package, and just install the package SyncGrid that install that package send grid okay so it's installing the send grid you get package and I you can see my screen I have created a class send grid underscore csg and then I have a method public static async so this is asynchronous so it's involved trading and it's returned a task so i mean a boolean of tasks this is an asynchronous so you have a method name execute so here i pass the file path the api key the report file name email subject the email content email content is just basically the when you receive the email, what's the something like the con the first paragraph or something like that? For example, please say attach uh, a report like that. So you can specify. And then the sender email, it is by default to post sending the email. And there is seven, the, the list of emails that will receive the report. Is and of course, uh, if you want to CC someone, so you can also have the list of CC emails and the report extension. It could be XML, EDI. So I already included here because our report modules is configurable, so it could be sent in XML, in a text file, or EDI file like that. So basically, uh, when you install uh, the same grid, you can have now the helper that email and the same grid. So what the most important here is this one, mail helper. So the mail helper will have a different method. Uh, you can see. So you can just have the single send email. So it will not have a list of receiver list of CC. So in this, in my case, I use create single email with multiple recipients. So that's why I am going to pass through uh, from to email, email subject, and then the pen context. Okay, so as you can see, two email search is a list, a list of emails. And then I just 
to a new level. So I just keep the recipient that is passed in the method and add it to email. That's why to email. And the CC, if the CC length is or there is a CC email, so you just loop it and add it. Message that add CC. Or you can also add BCC. You just have to variable BCC like that. Add BCC. That's blind copy. Okay. And then since I am attaching a file here, so the file path, this is the 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 path and where the file is stored. So I convert it to bytes. So this is that's why I have file that read all bytes, uh, method and the file, the file path, including the file itself. Then after that, I convert to B64. So this become a file. Then you can have the misses and attachment file name. Then the file itself. That you need to attach. And then since this is asynchronous, so I have just the variable response. Await client that send email thing. So this is the method that will send will send it with the attachment. You configure await and then I'll check if the response is status is successful, then it will return true. So that's the library for our email using same green. It's a very simple right? it's, it's, if you are new it's not very simple <laughs> after okay. so, now we go back to report module in that mid core here so for you to attach that same uh same grid ml you are just going to add the project so you can see here this is the same grid library and once you add the project it will become a dependency of this application so you can see here same grid and after that you can now use it in your that network so i have is using same grid library so in my report i have a configuration if same grid email is enabled so it will send so you can find it here i just hard code it in a, i put it first in the app sheeting app sheeting that json but basically later on i will configure it in the database as well so i said value to one so it will send an email then of course when you send the email this one you will have to pass the parameters in your library so example report name the api key the API key I already have here in my app sheeting. Okay. So the report module name and then this is the subject. I just hard code it for now. This is the first uh, word or sentence in your in your email. Uh, please see attach report like that. Sender email. This one and also in the config file. Here the sender email. And then the list of receiver email is one it's also on the config file so the email i have again at the list what is that one and cc okay so i do not cc right now but i have here in my app sitting without the value and the report sent out in the report module table and since this asynchronous you have to the result and if it's success, then it will send. If not success, so it will throw an exception that there is a problem in email notification. That report name. So uh, that's it. We have to take a look. It is really working. So we are under program. Okay. 
to this by first so we have the default name so okay that's the report name and since the enable single email is true so it will now go to the sending so okay uh, debug it will go to the library so that's it so you can see this is how one email is it just look it's easy nothing so this is the file path so that is the file path and convert it to bytes so this is now a bytes okay and then after converting it to bytes convert it to this 64 string so it's now it don't like that that's the end of it and then now we are going to use this sync email sync message okay, so we have an attachment so it will send now then if successful it will turn through that's it so here the success is true so it's sending now so we are going to check the email okay, if it's really sending so where's my email uh, let's check it here my email not receivable. See? So the email just arrived. So you can see the header this report subject and this is the this attached report and the attachment XML file. I X exact file. So that's the content. Okay. So if you have question, just comment on my YouTube channel and i will try my best to reply you immediately okay so i hope you learned something in this very short video and sending email using sendgrid utility so thank you for viewing my youtube channel and if you like it subscribe hit the subscribe button and uh bell button as well so you will be notified for the next tutorial bye bye